curb. And as homeowners pick up the pieces, several are also questioning the safety of some heavily traveled bridges in the area. That's because floodwaters washed over several Edmond roads and bridges. Jennifer Pierce has the latest on what's being done to protect the public. Jennifer? Well, Alex, the bridge here at I-35 and Seward Road, it is just one example. It suffered major damage from the flood floodwaters. Take a closer look. You can see ODOT crews are already working. They actually started working on it last week, last Friday, and it could be another month before uh, all of those repairs are complete and uh, ready for the public to drive on that other lane. Now, also, county road crews are busy making bridge repairs in Edmond. The images from last week's flood are dramatic and still ingrained in the minds of residents. It was at the east end of the bridge. The dirt was all washed away from it. About six to eight foot deep. Is that pretty scary looking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> This is damage on Sorghum Mill Road, just east of Western. These pictures were snapped a day after the flood. The water washed out the road, but left the bridge intact. It's still sound, so it would be safe to drive on uh, once we restore the approach. That work is underway now. Trumbo says all the county bridges were inspected and found to be safe. A storm like that will do some deterioration, um, but that doesn't make it unsafe. As for city-maintained bridges, Edmond has closed Covell near Western. The floodwaters washed off the guardrail and asphalt on the bridge. The city engineer says it has to be inspected for structural integrity and repaired before it's reopened. While bridges are top of mind, city and county engineers are anticipating other problems down the road. The soil underneath those roads got saturated, so some potholes could develop in the future that you're not seeing now from that event. Now a date has not been set for repairs to begin on the bridge on Covell Road, but the county bridge on Sorghum Mill Road is expected to be complete by the end of July. Alex? All right, Jennifer, thanks. The bridge on Sorghum Mill Road was slated to be replaced in a couple of years, but because of the flooding, that date has been moved.